Hi everyone, Suzanne Ullman here, registered nurse working in uh, San Antonio and rural Texas. But I have been in Nebraska all summer uh, to avoid having heat-induced migraines and to be around my parents. And I've been here a little bit longer because I've developed my own interesting health problems. So it has helped me to cultivate a message I think is important to public health, so I'm going to share it. It is now mid-October, and so many of you have probably reached your health insurance deductibles this year. And so now is the time to make sure you've gotten all of your annual um, preventative health testing done. So if you're over 50 or have a family health history of colon cancer, call and get a colonoscopy. It is very safe to do it. You just wear a mask. You do the prep at home. Um, the doctors are taking incredible uh, safety measures in uh, GI suites and things like that. My doctor, when I had my colonoscopy two weeks ago, was wearing a helmet that made him look like a stormtrooper. Okay. Secondly, have you had your mammogram? Are you over 40 and you need an annual mammogram? Call, do it. Just get it out of the way. Okay. Uh, thirdly, one of the things that you can do to make your health care uh, more cohesive is if you keep track of your records and you ask for the documentation of the tests so you're not relying on the faxing of overworked office assistants to provide all of your medical team. So again, uh, if you have a colonoscopy or a CT scan or labs or anything like that, get those records and keep them yourself so that you can be prepared for the next doctor who's going to analyze them to have them in case the faxing didn't work between the offices. I don't think anybody means to not fax documents, but I know I spent a lot of time on my patients' behalfs calling and asking for records to be faxed. So that's just one way you can empower yourself. I want to do a personal shout out to Seward Memorial Hospital and to the ER staff. I've been there a couple of times this year. I'm okay. They've just found out that there's some alien down in the, the depths of my belly and we're trying to figure out what it is and if we need to get it out. So I have had uh, several ER visits. I've had a CT scan. I've had two different ultrasounds. I've had an upper and lower endoscopy and colonoscopy. I mean, I am telling you, if there is another angle at which to look at my innards, I don't know what it would be except for a surgeon. And that's who I'm going to go see on Wednesday. So um, I just feel like the best thing we can do for our health right now, pandemic or no, is to gird ourselves with all of the information and the testing and the results, communicate and do as much preventative care as possible. So again, mammograms, colonoscopies. If you're a dude and you're of a certain age, when's the last time you had your prostate checked? When's the last time you had your prostate labs? Lots of stuff that we can take care of and be sort of in the pole position of our healthcare instead of uh, worrying about it all the time because it's been politicized, okay? It's your body, it's your health, it's your family, it's your life, and, and you can do it if I'm doing it. And I have an alien somewhere in my belly. I have no idea what's going on. So when I do, maybe I'll let you know. Uh, but in the meantime, go get yourself tested and figured out, okay?